Jeez, welcome back to my Gundam, The Witch from Mercury reaction. Small voice of Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. So, uh, we're gonna be watching episode 19 today, and most likely episode 20 as well. I get the feeling that we can do that right now. So, uh, last time, what happened last time? I forgot. <laughs> uh, freaking Soleta and Miorine broke up because Miorine doesn't want Soleta to do nasty things anymore for her mom because mom brainwashed her, and it's really sad. And then um, the final duel with freaking Bob or Guel, if you will. But um, uh, so not so that, uh, Miorine actually decided to uh, sabotage uh, Soleta to make it so that Bob wins. And Bob won. And now Bob is the groom. And Bob has control over certain things. And Miorine is running for president. It's great. We don't know what's happening. Ah, oh, burps. We don't know what's happening exactly with Shadik yet. So. That's gonna be interesting to know. And then later on, the next episode that happened there was uh, freaking Soleta seems to be having a blast at school. She seems to be going at it normally and just having a jolly old good time with friends, eating with friends, uh, doing the whole thing where she she's like very active when it comes to lectures. And then uh, the Earthlings, the Earthians were like, okay, we're concerned about you right now. <laughs> you really should. You really feel like uh, you're forcing yourself a bit too much to do all these things. So we're gonna meet Miorina with you. And then they went to that place, and mom was there, and they were, like, and then uh, there's a whole sequence with uh, Eddie, the 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 Ariel basically. And then um, after the sequence, um, mom throws Soleta away and says like, "Okay, live on your own now. You enjoy school, right? You can do it on your own. It's okay. I got Eddie with me. It's okay." So yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture-in-picture -picture version which you can find in the description below and a time beast version which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your image to the time beast version, you can do that with 5 second countdowns and a countdown for 5 because that's what they do. And a 0 is the same thing. My video starts playing on my screen. Timer will go at here. Is that Earth? Trans Earth line. Now the earth is trans. Sorry. Miorine? I freaking love Miorine's clothes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's changed so much. I love it. Opening! Loud! If you're watching this on our PAP, discussion will be back over on YouTube. So uh, thank you to the Patrons to get these videos a week early in advance. Um, yeah, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. Are we gonna end the story in season two? This is season two. Aww, Sophie. Freaking love Sophie. Killed a bunch of people. Who cares? She's cute. Tonight.
Oh, it kissed me. I was yawning a lot in another video I did as well. I'm not tired. I don't think so. Aww. Oh yeah, that's him. Okay. Nika. Yes, mommy. Sorry. Hmm. Oh. Why is the music like this? Hmm. I like her. <laughs> Not the best way. Ah. <laughs> uh. I just remembered my guesses for what's going to happen in this episode because of that title. Is this just me or is this audio, is this file a lot louder than the other ones? Oh wait, I added the thing. Never mind, never mind. No more violence. Oh, she's controlling Ariel. Wow. That's not what she's going to do. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Uh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's that kid. <laughs> Freaking love you, Bob. Ever since you changed your name from Google to Bob, you've been great. But he's always been interesting, even as Google, of course.
<laughs> Doesn't take the hand. Her earrings are really long. What is up with that? Hmm. Yep. Okay. What was it got in the wish for Mercury? Oh my god, it's losing her mind. Uh. Okay. Oh, places in Earth. Ooh. Ah. Oh my god. Hmm. Gandam. <laughs> She's watching that, that's great. Hmm. 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 I'm not saying much, sorry. Okay. What? Whoa. That's big. Ah, nice. Ah, shake hands finally. Okay, I have no notes because I've been enthralled by what's been happening also so that I sound great. Aww, with her hair like that, she's cute as well. Hello, Juju. Her little, what is that called? The cap? The hat that she has?
Nice. Aw. They really animated that. That's great. <laughs> oh! Freaking love you, Soledad. Ah, uh, we can't get even a good moment with the breakfast again. This is a very emotional episode. Hello, Till. I'll never remember your name. That resonated with Soleta. Sedo. You racist bitch. Mm. Oh, Shadik. That makes sense. He was an orphan. We know that. What? Yeah, yeah, I noticed. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's going to be important. Yep, we know now, we know it's Shalik. Of course. Ooh, it's getting good. Okay, what are we doing? Um, that's not good. Oh, wow, using the data storm and everything.
Oh, it was all planned. It was planned all along. Excuse me. Luffy is over. Yep. Everything's just being revealed now. Of course, we're going immediately to the final gun. Like, they used that as the final move, so yeah. Well, fuck. Not authorized to attack, huh? Ah. Oh, we need a component. What is a component? Um. Um. What the fuck is this episode? Oh my, oh my god! Oh, that's violent. The fire. Wow. We're getting credits now. What? Not the best way. I mean, yeah, it kinda is. <laughs> Not necessarily. You're indirectly at fault. I mean, you're still directly at fault still a tiny bit because you were the one that wanted to do the negotiations. If you're watching this baby discussions, we'll be back over on YouTube. I have no notes for this one because I was just enthralled with what was happening. What was that episode? PAP discussions, okay?
Such cool visuals for this ED. It's all about this episode. Uh, let's see. What's next? The End of Hope. Well, that's one hell of a title. It's all about this episode. That is badass as all hell. Uh, looks like it's a completely different art style. Keigo Inoue, good job. Looks slightly older kind of style of animation. An anime, not animation. Um, yeah, I like this. Also, the fact that they're facing each other's backs, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, mom is evil, <laughs> mom is evil, and um, it's kind of sad because I started uh, doubting her a while back. Ah, <sighs> the conversations about going to Earth, you can tell the very different like outlooks that they have as to going to Earth. Because Miorina has always wanted to go to Earth and she's never able to and then at some point decided that she will stay here in space because of uh, Suleta. But now that uh, now that Suleta's gone in her life, not really gone in her life, but now they broke up basically. Um, she's like, uh, kind of, kind of, what's the word for it? Kind of sad and solemn about the whole idea of going back to Earth. Not back to Earth, but going to Earth. And then there's uh, Bob, who experienced so many things on Earth, and then um, probably went probably the biggest thing that changed his life happened on Earth. So uh, he probably thinks like um, <laughs> he probably thinks that way. He probably thinks that uh, uh, he's going back here gonna help people, and make sure that everything's okay. And then there's this fat bastard. I'm I'm gonna call him I'm gonna call him names because he's kind of mean towards the Earthians. Um, He's kind of mean towards the Earthians, as I said, and um, it seems that he has a bit of a superiority complex like a lot of other patients, so that makes sense. Um, so, he probably doesn't like it, not just because of the gravity, but also because, if you know, it's Earth. It doesn't like Earth. It seems that it doesn't like Earthians. So, yeah. Um, this guy. The one that shot... Uh, chubby lady. I called I called the the soldier a fat bastard, and I called this one a fat a chubby lady. Uh, where where is the gender equality, Jace? <laughs> um, Soleta being depressed is. Uh, we've already seen her be depressed before, but <laughs> it's a lot more apparent this time that she really just doesn't want to do anything, doesn't want to eat, doesn't want to go to school. So. Yeah, they broke up and it's not really fun. Um, coloring her freaking, uh, not coloring, uh, polishing her nails is interesting. I do like, I do like Chopping Mommy. <laughs> A friend of mine just started calling him Chopping her Chopping Mommy and he's kind of started doing it as well. So Chopping Mommy is hot and also uh, she seems to um, have this thing where she really just wants to pull out what is, what is this uh, Martin was actually feeling not the best way sorry to keep you waiting and then we actually go into uh, a lot of the players in this match in this in this game if you will in, this, in the pieces on the board we actually go through multiple uh, people there's Miorine and Bob there's freaking the, the mom there's freaking uh, the, 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 the engineer girl together with Chubby Lady and then there's freaking Shadik and and their whole and his whole squad, and then there's Soleta, which has not been doing much lately. <sighs> A girl's night out, nice. Okay, this guy. Uh, I, I like the fact that Bob notices who this guy is immediately. Also, the handshake that's not accepted, but was accepted later on. Just a very easy. Easy to track little thing and it's really fun. And then they start off with the uh, there's so many people that have been arrested and, and uh, imprisoned uh, that aren't really criminals. What are you doing? <laughs> um, 
and then there's the whole thing of we weren't ordered to do that but yeah because no one told you that they were doing it and then yeah i do want miorina to be up there like i want her to be president if she was ever to become president this is gonna be great because um she's finally gonna be able to have a network where she understands or knows about the bad things that happen at the very least um will she be able to do something about it maybe i don't know but at least she knows about it she's not completely ignorant about the things that his patients do uh, uh this scene really almost broke me <laughs> not really break more like it was so tense like my heart was pounding because it's like just having like a panic attack someone with issues in my brainy brain i sometimes have panic attacks as well i haven't had one in a while but still um <laughs> um I, i'm just reminded of basically myself whenever i i whenever i have a panic attack and then uh uh i don't know so yeah and then she starts going off and being mad okay not not really i don't relate to that as much the idea of wanting to kill people <laughs> not that much um still a tiny bit <laughs> um freaking allen just looking at her sketchbook it's kind of very annoying of you Alan. <laughs> why would you do that like out of curiosity maybe but why you're just an ass seriously And she goes, Sophie, why did you leave me? I'm scared to die. I like the fact that Nika is like hovering, uh, like uh, shuddering, shuddering, basically. And then, uh, yeah, just being concerned about everything. Okay, what else? Uh, I like the fact that Miorina still watches the video. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, Miorina likes Soleta, let's be real. Miorina likes Soleta. That is a fact. Uh, that's definitely not headcanon. Definitely. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, she's also very calculating in the fact that she wants to make sure that Soleta enjoys her life like this. Is uh, Yeah. It's kind of harsh of her to do, but it's like the, it's not the best way to do it as, as, because of the title. But still, it's it's a way to do it, and she that's what she decided to do. Okay, um, we're doing prosthetics, and apparently this guy's a doctor. It's really cool. And then the handshake, really fun. Um, Soleta, hungry, going to the freezer. <laughs> uh, we're made, we're eating soup made from the goat's milk. I forgot the name of the goat. I like the earth 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 house. Excuse me, earthian house has a lot of animals it's really just fun have we seen other animals in the show besides the animals of, that were in this house i want cats and dogs <laughs> i know and then martin just comes out and says it like i i turned in nika because you know nika actually helped support the terrorists even though what she was trying to do was make sure that they don't kill anyone but they still killed a bunch of people, so that's not fun. Um, and then it starts talking about the prince, which uh, this guy knows about because the prince is Shadik's nickname. It's like, okay, it's Shadik, it's Shadik. We know now. We don't. We don't have proof, but we need. We need the dad. I think they were talking about the dad. Was it Sarius? I believe that's the dad. Not entirely sure though. And then she uses the thing that jams and hijacks uh, other mechanism mecha machines and to make sh to make it so that this guy shoots at the uh, patients and make it so that the patients are fighting in self defense <sighs> fuck why 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 um and the other are fighting as well in self defense because they don't know where it came from suddenly or they know it came from but they don't know what happened there and then apparently there's components that is necessary for uh, Quiet Zero at some point that is, that is here. I do like the the thing, the way they worded it, where did, did they seriously just go there because of the negotiations or the reasons why they decided to go to that specific place. 
Because apparently it's, mom is evil. Ah, uh, what does it say? In response to Benedict Group's attack, Earth Independence Movement leader declares that they will join fight for independence. The Benedict forces disperse the explosions that take place throughout the sky. Fierce fighting develops between two sides. <sighs> Fuck. Interplanetary Muse Network, I just realized that, that was funny. Um, yun la. Okay, um, <laughs> so, that's it. I don't know where we're going with this. Um, as I opened uh, episode 20, but I'm just at the fir first frame and it's literally the same frame I was looking at earlier. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, we're just gonna take a quick break, uh, sync everything up and all that, and then I'll be right back in the next episode. Okay, we're back, and I believe episode 20 is called The Loss of Hope or The Death of Hope. So the hope is gone, hope is dead, hope is not having fun. Um, yeah, it's not fun, it's not good, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna set everything up, subtitle, okay, audio track, uh, Japanese. Uh, mute, unmute, uh, go here, the very beginning. It's gonna be two versions, time of base will have a timer, PIP will not see this part, timer will go uh, here. Wait, 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 wait. 20. Thank you. Oh, so, what did Soleta mean by this is what they needed to do. I don't know about that. I forgot about that part. Ah. I forgot that Shadik actually has respect for Miorine. Okay, if you want to see the baby discussions, we'll be back over on YouTube. Thank you to the patrons. I said this earlier. Why am I repeating it? It's such a good song. Uh, what time is it? I have time. Uh, Ha! <sighs> Needs to be gayer. It's not gay enough. Yep. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yep. We can't see, we can reply. Wow. That's my logic when it comes to uh, messaging, text messaging. You can't read it, so that doesn't work here. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Oh. Ah, you helped someone. Good job, Sarita. <laughs> Yeah, she does, but it's great. It's cute, because she's cute, so it's okay. Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he is! Whoa, that's cool! Whoa! Four more! Four. His harem is here! Whoa, what is he gonna do? Yep. But goes outside immediately. Left the left the sketchbook, the little notebook. Nika, what are you gonna do? Excuse me. Yeah! Fuck that! What permit score is that? Whoa! You should run! Yeah, there's a mech! There's a... There's a mobile suit!
Oh boy! I've been so bad for Doria. She didn't deserve this. Well, well. Soleta, what can you do? You don't have Ariel. Are those two dead? No, okay. Ha! <laughs> it's kinda funny. Aww, that's sweet. Don't die. We just learned about you. Yep, he did. That's powerful. Looks powerful. Oh no! Oh, you're gonna trigger him! Oh, yeah, you did. It was an accident. I accidentally killed my dad. Whoopsie doo! Just another Tuesday. Ah, uh, keep yawning. Why? Yeah. Bad end of <laughs> Nice Pom Pom Head. I just call it a cotton candy head. Nice. Help! Let's go!
She has to. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. So survive this, Choo Choo. You need to survive this. This is all out war now. Huh. Oh, nice. Huh. Wow. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's badass. Yes, you do. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Oh! Nice! Nice! It's out in space though. What's that? That was intense. Whoa. And we're still fighting. Ooh, that was badass. Huh? <laughs> Immediately open fire. Mm. What? Oh.
Oh, the visuals. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Wow. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. Okay, I mean, I kind of knew she was gonna die because of how they were treating the scene, but not that way. I thought she was just gonna permit score too much. Please be alive. Please be alive. <sighs> the end of hope, not the death of hope. Okay. Oh yeah, you learned that your brother killed your dad. Oh yeah, you got shot right after finding out that you can have a regular life to some extent. Oh yeah, so many people died. Welp, I fuck. Anyways, I don't know. It's not. Eagle. What are hands? She's been doing this for a while. No! If you want to set up VAP discussion, we'll be back over in YouTube. There's going to be timestamps in the description leading you directly to them, so... Sweet, very cute. So on this episode, oh, there's a title for next episode. What's the next episode called? What we can do now? Okay, that's all about this episode. Uh, that is oh oh the Rolua. You did not have to attack me emotionally this way. It's Noria and Alan. It's, it's great. 
Oh. Wow. This episode, so many people died. Uh, two of which are named characters. <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is very sad. Um, what's this? Alright, so the interstellar news. Interplanetary. That, that makes more sense. Interstellar would mean there's a different star systems. Um, yeah, Murin is blamed for it because she's the one that came here with the weapons and everything. Yeah. Uh, Jedark being brash and rational is very Jedark, very cool. Uh, and not very Bob. I mean, um, just having to... Uh... <sighs> I'm gonna talk about Bob. Because I get the feeling that the the reason why he let Shadik survive is not just because you need to pay for your crimes, but because I don't think Bob is able to actually kill anyone anymore. At the very least not right now, because yeah, it's uh the last time he killed someone he was uh, he was thinking that it was an enemy, but it was apparently his own father. Fuck. And then um uh, this guy just telling him to, you know, get Sarius, we need to get the dad first. We need to be strategic about this and do this properly. So, there you go. Um, uh, then we get the opening. Uh, opening is badass as ever, I like it a lot. I like that Martin is like, not necessarily made friends with these two, but... Uh, they're close enough to a certain extent that um, they can talk about it. It's like, oh, I patched things up with my friends. Thank you for uh, make, letting me think about it and letting me express myself. And uh, I was now able to make friends with them again. Make up with them. So it's great. And then, uh, what did he say? I was a fan of Miss Miorine, but everyone's a fan of Miss Miorine. Miorine is amazing. <laughs> Hold the shareholder meeting and development company. You're the face of the station's supremacism. Wow. You call this justice? Uh, listen to the earth and anger. I did a disgusting VR video at once. <sighs> Fuck. I do like the logic of what well, if you if you don't read them, you can't reply. That's what I do because I sometimes don't reply to people <laughs> uh, because you know I, I don't know sometimes I just feel like I don't want to talk to anyone at all so I just don't reply for months <laughs> uh, or weeks most of the time it's just a few weeks so yeah this guy I like that we actually introduce her make make sure that we know that she's in love with this one guy that stood her up and then kill her at the end of the episode because, because this is, because if you started watching like me, if you were like me and you started watching Gundam the Witch from Mercury thinking that, oh, it's cute, slightly Yuri fighting with robots. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, wow. I, I mean, I started with episode zero, so I kind of expected it to be, to turn dark a bit later. So I'm kind of ready for it, but still. Um, I want to talk about something about uh, Noria and Sophie and the whole idea of choosing how to live and how freaking um, Noria thinks that the way freaking Allen or anyone other any other Spatian lives is not worthy. It's not a thing of it's not living entirely. And uh, I do. It's really painful because like she was about to give it a chance to give Allen a chance. To show her if uh, she, she, they will be able to live. But I want to point out that uh, Petra, the girl that was introduced to us just in this episode right now, is um, I, I would consider her someone to also who also lives. By the way, that uh, uh, freaking what's her face, Noria, uh, judges the way someone lives because uh, she actually was like um, very expressive she's like she wants to keep living and she, she and the first thing that she was like when uh fuck words i can do this uh the first thing when uh when the 
terrorist attacks. Uh, first thing is she was like, uh, if we survive this, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, it's like she has like a love for life. And uh, I've always found those kinds of characters to be very, very, uh, what's the word? Not intriguing. I love those kinds of characters. Let's just go with that. I really love those kinds of characters. Sometimes they're played out to be way too cliche, but certain characters that uh, have a sense of realism to what they um, to what they desire is um, is always something that hits close to home to me. Like my favorite anime is freaking uh, uh, what's the name of that? Girls Last Tour. It's weird. Like no one's favorite anime is Girls Last Tour. I know. And, but yeah, um, but basically, uh, I love that one character there named Beauty because of her love for life, even though the entire premise of the show is super dark. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just reminded of that. And then throw hands with machines. I like that Alan keeps trying to stop her. Uh, anything else? Uh, okay, what else? Okay, and then this guy learns that a brother killed the dad. I mean, it was an accident, but uh, that's kind of really hard to accept <laughs> because you know, even even Bob still thinks that it's his fault, even though it's his father's fault for what he did. To be honest, and he was trying to assassinate Delling, so not really the best guy. But still, they have their blood relation, and it's great. And then there's this, which is great. And they're like, uh, fine tune it, we need Nika, Nika's here. And uh, I, how can I forgive you? You should start explaining it to me, and then I can forgive you. She didn't necessarily say that, and then I can forgive you, that's basically what she meant. And it's great. Their friendships are great. Uh, let me see this notes. Okay. Uh, let's see. The fight was awesome. Again, I want to say, I'm not too keen as to understanding how mechs are animated, mecha are animated. So, um, I'm not gonna frame by frame it and act like I know what's happening. Because I do that with, uh, with, uh, with like regular old people fighting and not this kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I think we're done. The next episode is called what? What we can do now. That sounds like, uh, I mean, this episode's title is The End of Hope. Like, how can it get darker than that as a title? And then now it's What We Can Do Now, which I assume is gonna be about, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> what, what is it gonna be about? Is it like, fuck, um, I don't know. Huh, maybe they're gonna try to help people out, rebuild some things, but they can't still do much of anything because of everything that's happened and there's such a large scale event that they can't really do anything about it. So they're just gonna do their best and the, their best isn't that much because yeah. Uh, there's four more episodes left of this season. I don't know if the story ends this season because uh, uh, it feels like this is like we're nearing a climax of sorts. So that's a possibility. That's a possibility. But I kind of don't want it to. I want another season. <laughs> another season. Because it, I don't know. It hurts me in all the right ways. <laughs> it's just painful. The peak characters dying left and right. And then uh, freaking Soleta being kind of insane. Not really insane, but she was brainwashed. So yeah, I. I also like freaking love our main girls. That's another thing. I just like Bob a bit more. I freaking love Guel. Guel's my favorite character. <laughs> like I did not expect to like him this much since the start of the first episode because in episode one specifically, just kind of a douche. Like uh, there's the uh, uh, there's the whole aspect of it where it's um, it's a uh, it's a foreshadowing that of the issues that he has with his family in episode one. There's definitely those, but for the most part. He's just kind of a douche in episode one, so I didn't like him at first, but now he's so good. He's such a good character. And also, the way he just transitions from uh, for, with his uh, character arc, with his uh, character growth, 
and how it changed so much from being just a regular old douche with some family issues to someone that is like very determined to help the entire solar system is a, is a it and it makes perfect sense the way it made the way it went from one thing to another it makes perfect sense so i freaking love it and then um yeah i think that's all i wanted to say so if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion, we go to the next one. Else, you can do that with a picture link below. We will help out here. And too, if you can, don't mean the words me. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. I sound like I'm insincere. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye.